Hey guys, it's me, Johnny Crims 2000 here, back for uh, my next part in my Project Justice Story Mode playthrough. So, in the last part, we finished off with Ghetto High School, so now we're moving on to Justice High School, a team that's composed of nothing but teachers. So, uh, we've already seen this screen a bunch of times. I kind of just skipped through it really quick. So, anyway, here we go. Thanks to the effort from the school president, Raizo Imawano, Justice High has recovered from confusion and has regained its place as a as a super elite school. Hideo and Kyoko have been reconciled have reconciled with Raizo and have gone back to teaching. Raizo, by the way, is uh, Batsu's dad. I'll get to him and um, I'll talk to about him in a minute. But then some shocking news suddenly struck the school and broke it and broke it in its newfound peace. The school president Raizo Imawano was attacked by an unknown person. Raizo, lying on a bed, gives instructions to Hideo and Kyoko. He tells them to investigate and if there's a possibility of harm of the school, use their judgment. Sensing so ah I really try to get through that. Episode 1! Hmm, who on earth would have attacked President Imawano? The person had to be very skillful in order to harm the president that badly. That is our... Ah! Hey, hey, you two there, are you having a date at this time of the day? Uh, sorry to bother you, but you two chums have to fight with us. You're ghetto high students. What is this all about? Finish them! So that's who announces for Mortal Kombat. No, this doesn't look good. So anyway, now we're fighting as Hideo and Kyoko, who are both from Justice High. Um, the same Justice High that we'll later see, uh, spoiler alert, um, the same one that's in the background when we fight Demon Hio. But anyway, uh, basically the storyline goes like this. And uh, th I think this is how it all starts from the beginning. So this is like the earliest... Uh, moment, I guess, in the entire story of Project Justice, is that somebody um, attacked Raizo Imowano, who is Batsu's um, father. He was actually in the very first, um, or not the very first, because it's only two games, in the first Rival Schools for the PlayStation 2 and Arcade, and uh, he acted as a sort of um, sub-boss, if you will, like right before you fought the fin ending boss for that game. And in that game, um, Hio, who we'll see later on, uh, brainwashed him the same way that Kuro um, supposedly brainwashes uh, Hio in this one. So, um, unfortunately, he's not playable character in this game for some reason. I don't know why. It would have been cool to see him again in this game, but whatevs. So now Kyoko and uh, Hideo, also from Justice High, are going around trying to figure out who attacked him and uh, why. So uh, here are the bios for Hideo and Kyoko. Hideo, a Shimazu-style karate expert, Hideo's job as a teacher has led him into some unsavory de uh, dealings. He joins Kyoko and Hayato to investigate what is happening. And uh, Kyoko, a brainy and energetic nurse, Kyoko's medical training as a surgeon makes her deadly in combat. She is investigating the case with Hideo. So, uh, we've seen these guys a little bit before, not that much. So, uh, Hideo is basically... Or, um, yeah, basically kind of like the stereotype teacher, although I don't know why he has those shoulder things. But whatever, I guess they had to make him um, interesting somehow. And Kyoko is the hot nurse. Alright, I wish my school nurse was like that back when I was in high school, but whatever. Gwahahaha! Let's call it a draw for now. Just don't let me catch you around us again, or else. Hideo, did you feel it? Did you feel Daigo's insanity? Hmm, that's the legendary boss Daigo Kazama. He looked very different from what I imagined him to be. That's right, he looked as if he has been possessed by something. Could it be? Sparkle in my glasses. We need to find out more. Alright, so now we're on to episode 2. And we're going to Taiyo High School rooftop. And there's our good friend Hio. So what is this all about? Here's the deal. The attack on our president and the sudden change of Daigo Kazama's personality. Is this your doing? I don't want to suspect you, but I will not allow a repeat of last year's tragedy either. Heh. <laughs> Raizo was defeated because he was, not because he is weak. There is no re- Ah. What are you saying? How can you talk about your father-in-law like that? Hayato, why are you here? You are messing with people's minds like you did last time, aren't you? If you are, I will make you regret it. You can talk the talk, but are you prepared to fight? And now we're fighting uh, Hio, and we're introduced to Hayato, who is actually from Taiyo High School. He's not from Justice High. 
So, uh, Hayato is a red-blooded PE teacher. Hayato is secretly helping his students. He makes his own justice with his bamboo sword. Otherwise known as a shinai. Um, that they use in, uh, I believe, Kendo? Yeah, Kendo. So anyway, now we're fighting Hio, and uh, you may be wondering, why are they suspecting Hio all of a sudden? Well, if, um, um, I'll go ahead and spoil it, I guess, because I am planning on doing a uh, LP of the original Rival Schools. But, um, in the original Rival Schools, Hio was the, um, ending boss for that game as well. And in that, um, in that storyline, he brainwashed Raizo and, uh, made him, you know, a bad guy, I guess. And, um, so that's why they're all going around... Um, suspecting him of doing the same thing because they're like, well, if he did it the first time then there's good reason that he did it again. But of course, Hio is like, I'm not doing anything, which if you've already seen my other parts, you'll know that is uh, partially right. And we knocked him out with Hayato. Yeah, I actually really like Hayato. He, I, I suspect that that's sort of what uh, Batsu may become one day, like if he decides that street fighting just isn't for him and he has to settle down. He'll become like a PE teacher. Although I've never seen a PE teacher with a Shania before. But whatever. By the way, those things hurt when you get hit by them. I have, uh... I have my experiences with those things, and they hurt. The thing is that they, like, pinch you. Like, the way that they're built. Like, if they hit you a certain way, they'll pinch down on your skin. And, uh, yeah. It's not fun. Not fun at all. So anyway, Hideo, um, I've talked about him before, but he is... He basically has reuse move sets. If you guys can see right there, I'm pulling off a bunch of uh, Hadoukens, and uh, he does have the um, Hurricane Kick, a variation of it. He doesn't actually leave the ground though when he does it, and he does have the um, he uh, the Shoryuken. But of course, he doesn't say those things. And I've mentioned before, if you ever wondered what Ryu looked like as a math teacher, you know, when he retires and uh, is too old to compete. This is where you find him, teaching kids, math. I already told you that I'm not involved in this. You can either believe me or not. Okay, I believe you. Whatever. If that is true, then who is the one doing this? Teacher, I saw it. The one who attacked President Raizo was wearing a uniform of Taiyo High. What? Don't talk such nonsense. It's not nonsense. I'm the one who was there first. Don't you believe me? Of course I don't, you idiot. I'll prove that Taiyo Hai is innocent. Wow. <laughs> no wait, Hayato. Hideo, we must accompany Hayato. Let's go. Smirk. By the way, this is one of the few times that you actually see what Kuro looks like. Um, not looking insane. Like the way he would normally look like. So there was a scuffle during the Taiyo Pacific Athletic Competition. Hayato, did you try to find out who was behind this? That's right, I can't leave it to my students, you know. Hmm, what's that? Hey you, what happened? Batsu and his friends had some fight with these unknown girl students. What? Those idiots, and where are those girl students now? There, so you are the ones who got into a fight inside Taiyo High, aren't you? That's not true. It was a simple misunderstanding. You teachers never listen to us and only judge us. This is none of your business. Beat it. That is not how you one should speak to their elders. Watch your mouth. And random fight starts out. So as you guys can see right here, uh, you can tell that this is before any of the other um, school's story modes getting uh, started. Because at this point, we're already on to episode, what is it, three? <laughs> and um, we, we are just now getting to um, hear about the scuffle that was, uh, you know, that pretty much started the all the other schools um, up. But in this one, we're just now getting to it, even though it's already episode three. Um, and now, of course, we're fighting Seijun High School. Actually, hold up, is that the name of it? I don't know. It's... Um, it's kind of weird, like the instruction manual calls it Seijun School, some of it calls it Seijun Girls School, but uh, either way, this is a uh, new team that was introduced in this game, it wasn't in the first game, obviously, and, and um, we're now fighting them. I haven't talked about much about them, but don't worry guys, as soon as I'm done with this one, we'll get to them, and uh, I'll talk more about them.
Um, and like I said, Eureka in particular, she does have a certain part of her storyline that I will be revealing um, at that point. That's why I'm kind of hesitant to talk um, about the characters in this team. But anyway, I find it really cool. Kyoko has this move that uh, she just grabs you and starts like choking and breaking everything. And I thought it was a good... Um, it's a good move, I think. It's very appropriate for her character since she's supposed to be a school nurse. So she'll know like all these chiropractic moves and stuff like that. And uh, she's also very fun because she has a, a counter move. You saw me do it right there. Basically, she'll like lift her leg up. And uh, if your opponent hits you up, oh, yep, and uh, Zaki, Zaki won that round. Yep. <laughs> Forgot about that. So um, I decided to cut it out because it's like, you guys don't need to see that uh, little, yeah. <laughs> um, Zaki can be a pain. I don't know what it was about this match in particular. Like I was beating her up and then all of a sudden she just like came out of nowhere and just came back. So... Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying, uh, Kyoko has this move where she'll lift her leg up, and if your opponent hits you while her leg is up in the air, um, obviously it has to be a non-projectile move. She'll counter it, and she'll start kicking you, uh, the opponent in the air, which will uh, set it up to a nice air combo if you time it right. And booyah, Zaki! I beat you down! Look at my forearms, they're huge! And for some reason, my hands are wrapped up. When kind of... Ah. Anyway. What? Are you saying there's someone who disguises himself as Batsu? That seems to be the most natural conclusion, but we must find a way to distinguish the true Batsu from the fake one. And until that is done, Batsu will have to take all the blame. So both Daigo and Batsu are in trouble. This is abnormal. So you've seen my brother? Where was he? Please tell me. He disappeared immediately. I don't think he is still there in the same spot. If you look for a place where ghetto high students like to hang out, he might be there. Dot 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 dot. Okay then, I'll find someone from ghetto high and find out what order he has given. That's easy. Let's go. Wait, you can't do that with those wounds. I'll patch them up for you. If you say so, I understand. Take care, Kyoko. And now we're on to episode four. Tayo high, high School again. Alright. <laughs> I can never understand this. Your school president has been attacked and an accident happened during the Tayo Pacific Athletic Competition. And the sudden personality change of Daigo Kazama and then the fake Batsu appeared. It can't be just a coincidence. This smells wrong. <laughs> this smells wrong? Really? So you think all the events are related to each other? Teacher Hayato, here you are. Please come with me now. Batsu? Is this the true Batsu? Or... Huh? Who on earth are you? H Hayato? What are you saying? What's the matter? Don't you remember my face? Don't be stupid. I've never seen you before. Reveal yourself already, you fake. And uh, now apparently we're fighting uh, Batsu, but oh, whatever. Yeah, this is the fake Batsu. I honestly never understood. Like, he has, like, a little... Like, his hair is different. Like, don't, don't people realize this? And he doesn't even have the same moves. And yes, this is another solo encounter. I honestly don't... I don't know what triggers this. Because we had one before. Um, in Tayo High School playthrough. Um, against... Um... Not Hideo. Uh, Hio. That one was a solo encounter, but that one made sense because it was just um, Kiyosuke and Batsu versus um, Hio. So, of course, that was going to be a, a solo encounter, but, but for some reason, it's you know they call this a solo encounter, even though we're going to be facing um, Momo next. So, I don't know. I mean, and there's also been some other times during the playthrough, if you guys have noticed, where it's basically been me against somebody else, uh, like one-on-one. -on -one. Like, um... For example, the one in uh, Ghetto High, we were facing Wild Daigo by himself, but for some reason they didn't call that one a solo encounter. So uh, I really don't know what constitutes um, giving the title of a solo encounter. See, look, we're, we're fighting Momo. It would have made sense if we fought Vatsu um, by himself and Momo was just there as a you know support character 
so that he could use uh, team up techniques. But that's not the case. We're still fighting Momo. So, I don't know. This game's kind of weird like that sometimes. And uh, this is the greatest move ever. He makes him do push ups. And uh, yeah. Nice shot of. You know, I'm not going to say anything. Just sick and perverted. Now, I know some of you out there are just going to comment and say, like, ooh, look at that. We can see up Momo's skirt. She's a little girl, people. Well, at least I think she's a little. I think. Well, didn't they say that she was, like. She only looks like a. You know, I'm not even going to go there. Anyway, we beat Momo and Vatsu. Hayato. As you suspected, I'm not Batsu Ichimonji, but how did you tell? That how did you know? It's easy. Your eyes are not burning at all. Batsu's eyes burn in the soul of anyone he sees. Hehe. <laughs> I never imagined that it would be such a lame reason. How stupid. Now I can't let you go. How tragic. So you are the one who has been behind all the strange events. No one can interfere with my plan. I'll punish anyone who tries to oppose me at any cost. By the way, do you have any idea where Kyoko Minazuki is? What do you mean? No, it can't be. Strange pause there. I guess we'll be seeing you again soon. I, for one, am looking forward to it.